Who so, are we looking at? Right, we have a small selection of photos to look at in this collection. Uh, and this is um, Stan and Sadie Gilbert. Stan is Horace Stanley, Laura May's brother, and S Sadie was um, Sarah Blakeway, who was married to Uncle Stan. And the one of the important notes apparently on this pic picture is that their daughter, Sybil, Auntie Sim, we called her auntie, but she was mum's cousin, made her mother's dress. So it was a special dress for obviously some special occasion. Uh, that's what's important with that photo. Now, um, I'm going to move the photos and just do them one by one since I've got this new arrangement. Again, we have Stan and Sadie. And this picture was taken at... We nine. do have space to have to look at two photos. Can I leave two? Yeah. Okay, leave the one. Okay. Okay, now we can so we can examine the relationship between the photos. So who yes. are the same the couple? Um, Horace Stanley Gilbert and Auntie S and Sadie Gilbert, who was um, Sarah Blakeway, and this photo is dated about nineteen fifty-five, and um, was taken at Sybil's place at Camp Hill. And m my mother has written that on the back because she would have recognised the building. So. And we went and visited at Sybil's place a couple of times when I was small. Could you just move them along like, like that and put the next one out? Mm -hmm. Now, in this, this photo, starting at this end here, there's Auntie Sadie again, the same lady that we saw in the other two photos. And standing beside her is Auntie Vi, Laura May's sister Vi, who was the baby of the family. And the next lady along is Vi's daughter, Edna. This photo was also taken about 1955 and it was taken at New Farm Park. Now, oh, you might... that's why they look so happy. Yes. Now, I've got a funny... Th 1955 was the year that Freya was born. Oh. And I've got a sneaking suspicion that might have been the, the, that Christmas 1955 that I was taken down to Brisbane um, with Grandma. So oh, that was, it would have hello, been... Hello, listener. Pardon? Hello, listener, remember? Hmm. Uh, anyway, you can see that the two f ladies who actually were part of the family, if you like, are short, and Auntie Sadie was a head taller than everyone else. Mm -hmm. so, we, so she was the one who'd married into the family. Moving right along. Okay. How? How bizarre. We may as well just continue, but um, I think we should probably check to see if it's actually still... I don't know. I can go quickly look at my phone, but for the moment, just talk about um, the next I photo on the left. The photo. Yes, I, we've seen this photo before, and which had the correct annotation on the back of it, but I didn't find it before I put it out today. This one I had written on the back of and got it completely wrong. It's one of the um, young um, Gilbert boys with the little girl with the very square face whose name I have forgotten, but it, the picture would have been taken about probably 1915 when the, all the young men were, were joining up <coughs> to go away in the first AIF. We're online. <coughs> Our technical support officer is attending to items at the moment. <laughs> we are. We have a technical support officer. Not everybody has one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do I? That should not. Because I'm the talented one at this end. Okay, all right. Well, it's the talents behind the mic. <laughs> Here we go. We're at picture number five, and this is a picture of Uncle Stan, Horace Stanley Gilbert. 
and uh, in this picture he's at the uh, the cenotaph in Brisbane, uh, laying a wreath for the first A A I H, um, and the year <coughs> he did A-I-H? that was nineteen. Australian. Uh, I've written A G H, first Australian something or other horse. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. He was a re- obviously representing representing the AGH, and the year was nineteen seventy eight when we need when he someone did that. with the role of fact checker or background yes, <laughs> information. Well, I'll, have, I'll have a look at the back. Well, I've I've written on the back of it, so I don't really quite know where I got that information from. But I must have must have been looking it up at the time. I wouldn't have just pulled it out of thin air. I'm silly sometimes, but I didn't do that. We, okay, none right of us along. expect you to pull things out of thin air. Yeah, I can do. I can do thin air. Sometimes. Maybe thick air. I hope this this one photo is sideways and it has everybody and his dog in it. And this is a whole family. There's and I'll just say all the names. I won't point or say anything to you. But basically, it's left to right by lines. Uh, Sybil, Val, Bruce Holmes, Granddad, uh, Gilbert, Will Holmes, Sadie, Grandma Laura May, Edna. Arthur Gilbert, Auntie Vi, Daphne, Frankie Frankie Gilbert, June Gilbert, Ian Holmes, Uncle Cecil, Auntie Eva, Leo Blakeway, who was Sadie's brother. So that's and it's actually quite a good picture to have a look at you, and you can pretty well recognise many of the faces on it, which is really really good. Moving right along, this should be photo number. Oops. I think oh, our sorry, that camera was... input. Hmm. Okay, I have three photos here that I can't don't work out in that same way. This first one is um, Daphne Holmes, Daphne Holmes and her husband Bruce, and I've forgotten um, what her married name was, but they were at Lone Pine in Brisbane and visiting with their children Tracy and Rowan. Would you mind talking about the <laughs> photo on the right because mm-hmm. unfortunately our camera feed froze in the technical difficulty. Okay. But I'm not quite the, sure where we're... Is that the one you want to look at? I, I think we've actually missed that photo, the mm-hmm. photo at the top and also the photo of the man standing on tiles. Okay. Well, let's have a look at this Sorry. one. Sorry. This one. This is my, my great uncle Stan laying a wreath at the Cenotaph in Brisbane in 1978. Ah, that. Okay. I thought because the camera feed had frozen, I mm-hmm. thought that was the of the man in uniform with the small child. Oh, no. Actually, I'm going to leave that one because it was done in one of the other sessions that we had, and I obviously had two prints of it. That's okay. All right. Um, so, so this, but this is the Brisbane along. Cenotaph, which yeah. is. Yeah. Um, yes, and you can a place you can, I know you've, you've, very you know well. Place, don't you? It's, it's a lovely cenotaph, actually. I, I really like it. it. It's at the top of Anzac Square, so it, it's mm. to yes. If you go, the, if like you, it faces the the, the go, cenotaph faces east to to the dawn. Yeah. At, out of the Brisbane River. And if you go to the city hall, you can find your way and into then the cenotaph. On the other side of the road, to the left of where he is standing, mm. basically the train station. Yes. Yes. Um, and then was an, did this one get caught the pe- the picture of the no the and when you were reading out all of those names yes that's what that was about all right so I shall say all those um, names again you Good. probably ought to <laughs> it will make lots more sense <laughs> now okie dokie we're going um, left to right row by row starting with the back row Sybil Val Bruce Holmes Granddad Will Holmes next row Auntie Sadie Grandma Laura May Edna Arthur Gilbert Auntie Vi and Daphne. Our front row, Frankie Gilbert, June Gilbert, Ian Holmes, Uncle Cecil, Auntie Eva and Leo Blakeway, who is Sadie's brother. I have no idea what the occasion may have been, but uh, to have so many of the family there together, um, there obviously was something going on, but no, there was no indication given on, on the photo that I had. Circa 1930 or 32 has been put on the back. And then did, we might have missed this one as well, did we? Yes, we did. Yeah, this Should is, go over um, that again. Yeah. Who are who are this? Uh, Two children. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's um, Daphne Holmes and her husband Bruce 
and their children, Tracy and Rowan. I, I don't, I know, knew Daphne, I met her a few times, but I don't. don't I'm don't just going to try and get the others. I don't remember the others. You're right. It's very hard to see the children in the photo. Yes, it's, it's, it is actually difficult because the, the way the colours are, like the little girl's dress just disappears in front of her mum. But anyway, they're there. We know they're there. Now he's in, and this is Will Holmes um, and Auntie Vi. So that's Auntie, can you now, I hope this is easy to see because this is Auntie Vi, Grandma's youngest sister. Um, I'm assuming it, it I probably it's not a wedding photo, but it's obviously they were together and her her new husband Will Holmes, and they make I think a very nice handsome couple. Indeed. And now another person you've heard me talk about was um, the young lady who who well she obviously grew to be an old lady eventually, who married um, Herb, great uncle Herb, and it was Dot. Do you remember talking about Dot? And I said to you, she was one lady who. Yes, and you you showed me her handwriting. Yes, and, and what in my next in the next um, episode here, I'm going to have some documents, uh, which I haven't quite worked out how to deal with yet. But one of them is a little note written by Dot to Grandma. Now I would say Dot and Herb were not married at the time because Dot writes her little card to dear Mrs. Wright. Uh, you know, because if she was already married into the family, one would think she'd say, dear Laura, because they were sisters-in-law. But anyway, I think she's cute. I love the bow in her hair. I think she just, just looks lovely. Dot, I think if I if I knew Dot in real life, I'm sure I'd be very, very pleased. Hmm. I like her already. Yeah. Anyway. She's awesome. Along. Yes. Now. This little group, uh, just a few um, of English ones. This is a picture of Iona Garraway, who's uh, Gordon Garraway's mum, but this is in Australia. Um, it takes a bit of exciting tracing to find the Garraways, but it's a family name that Freya and I know anyway. And um, this is a picture that's come from England of Great Auntie Flo, whose name was Florence Mary Gilbert, and she's at. Thornton Cottage, Northern Sussex, and we have no idea who the man was, but she was a lifelong spinster, so let's hope he's just a, a visiting really or the gardener or somebody. <laughs> so. And last but not least, there are two photos. That, um, Could you move? Oh. Actually, this, oh. the same photo. Um, this one has a, an extra bit of light on it, and in the old days, I didn't or it didn't, if the Could negative... Could you move the bottom photo just... To the left a little, this towards way. you, just a bit. Just a bit. That'll Thank do. you. Now we can see the person in the top right of the photo. Right. Okay. Um, in the old days, if you had um, your negatives when you took photographs, they printed everything anyway. So you often got photos like this where, where the light hadn't been right or something had happened. But anyway, it's the same group. And the group consists of Great Auntie Flo. So... And this answers a question that I thought I knew the answer to, but I obviously didn't, because um, this is a picture taken in Australia, and she did come to visit Australia. And after I saw that, I remembered that she had. So there's Great Auntie Flo, there's Uncle Stan, uh, Les Ripper, who's the man sitting down, and standing on the end is the bride. So it's Les Ripper's wedding picture, and the bride's name was Aileen Blewett. So Uncle Les and Auntie Aileen. And there are two small people at the front, First on this side is Auntie Flo, Florence Barnbaum, and then Auntie Eva, Eva Baxter. That's she got to be. So I, um, that's, again, a good photo because the notation on the back of it answers the question about did um, Flo, uh, uh, my Auntie Flo's Auntie Flo ever come to Australia? And she did. Right. Next button. is just a very historical e okay this is a bit of a tricky photo i don't know how well it's going to come up on your system but freya said you know even when we complained about the photos being a bit difficult to see she didn't have any worries so 
Obviously, it's, it's, she perhaps it's, has a better display than we she do. She was probably putting it up on her good computer, yeah. And of course, having her, uh, the Dan in her life, it'd be a good one. Uh, okay, so just want to just have a look. Is she? I've got the right photo. Okay, it's three girls in a boat. I'm amazed at what I have called the little computer that could. <laughs> it's a good little computer. Uh, okay, there's Auntie Eva. Uh, and the other tall, per- grown, well, teenage person was a lady called Mary Bath, um, who was a great friend of Auntie Flo's. And Mary and Auntie Flo used to do things together. And, Mar- and Mary Bath went used to go down to uh, Kira with them when they had their big holiday. And in the middle is my mum, Val. And that the notation on that one says Kira 1926. Hmm. that one visible all right now Mm -hmm. that's very good could you move them a bit closer together a bit yes but can you now yes that's great okay we've already talked about that one so now we're going to talk about this one it's sitting on the beach there's eva auntie eva val my mother and laura my grandma grandma laura and this is again at kira in 1930, circa 1930, the um, notation on the back says. Hang so on, just don't Kira, just New South Wales? Kira, Wales, no, Queensland, this side. Kira, of Queensland. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, Where is that? Coolangatta. North, south, where? Um, Coolangatta. Kira's where Kevin and I go down to have a break, have a holiday. Oh, right. And you keep going the coast and you go to Kira, Coolangatta. We'll have to get the south maps Wales. out again, but yeah. not on this computer. Okay. Um, anyway, what I think is funny in this photo is that the way mum's sitting in the middle, <laughs> the leg positions, makes it look like a crane. I think it must have been a very impromptu photo. Yes, it probably was. And this is this is one that I really like. And the, ty- the, the notation on the back of this one says, bringing home the groceries. And mm. there's, it's going from the left, Val, my mother. Laura, my grandmother, and Auntie Eva, and the notation says Kira 1929. So they have to go across to Kira to to a gross to get groceries. So, and when I when I was taken there in the fifties and we'd go across, I have some little teeny weeny cups and saucers that I that I was allowed to buy as souvenirs, and they're in the cabinet in there. You don't know which ones I'm talking about, do you? But I can pull them out and show you later. And You'll have to show the camera. I will. It's right there. Okay. Um, now, this photo has my mother. Excuse me, I want to just have a little look. That's the small girl's my mother. And her father, Matthew Frederick Wright, and Auntie Eva. And this one is annotated at the top of Razorback. And my, I'm not quite sure which is Razorback, but it'll still be a, a named um, feature on the landscape down there because it's still down at the beach. And it's not annotated at 1929. So that 29.30 visit, my, um, Christmas holiday, must have been quite good. And the last one is a picture that my mother just adored and it's a shame it got ru- got rest up so much. I hope you can see what's happening. There's a little person in there about four years old skipping her life away. Yes. And that's mum. <laughs> <laughs> she was. She remembered the skipping, um, it was, and she often used to talk about it. And that, when that photo surfaced, I was just so disappointed that it had been, um, you know, damaged around the edges. But at least the picture's still reasonably visible. Uh, and incidentally, there's no no idea who the other people might be in that photo. I have a couple of artifacts to show you. I don't uh, know if you hold on. Okay, go ahead. Now this is I hold on. I actually wrote a note in this what I did when I was doing lots of looking, and this is what I wrote. Here's the very note, and this is what I wrote. <laughs> Handcrafted large wallet from the effects of Laura May Wright near Gilbert. Apparently well used and much valued as a sentimental item. In brackets I've written Laura did not hoard rubbish. I have no knowledge of its provenance, but feel it was a belonging of or made by a person dear to my gran. Um, 
it, there's a t some t simple tooling on it. It looks like three oranges or three apples with a few leaves. And uh, it's really quite a handy but handy purse or handbag. Can you see that? Uh, I inside? can. I can, but mm. I'm having trouble hearing you. Yeah, sorry, I turned my face around while I was looking so I didn't pull the bag apart. The back of the bag has a handle, which I think is quite neat as well, and an outside so wallet. So it's I, I don't think you should be – we need to move the camera back. We can't see this properly, <laughs> but it's fine. Can you see, Some stitching has been damaged and removed. Uh, yes, it's been very well used. Um, it could be re um, – you know, looked after if you really wanted to, but I think what is it? What is it? I just have written it down as a large wallet. Oh, because it's a, it has the um, the effect of being a wallet, but it's quite large. And the other thing I brought out today, I would call it more of a pocketbook than a wallet. Uh, yeah, but it's a but you'd have to have a pretty big pocket. But anyway, it's nice, it's leather, it's old. I thought you said Matthew Frederick Grace. That's Frederick Matthew Grace. No. FMG. Florence Mary Gilbert. And oh, this belongs to the Florence Mary Gilbert, who was my auntie's auntie, <laughs> auntie Flo. Okay. Oh, gosh, it's... And I'll, I'll leave that there. So it's, it's wood. There must have been a... Family determination to keep to those names. Why? Oh yes. Oh, very important in the in the eighteenth, nineteenth centuries, darling. The the card that that is has come with it says from Florence Mary Barnbaum. I beg your pardon. For Florence Mary Barnbaum, near knee right, fifty seven Fisher Street, East Brisbane, Queensland, and that's in Great Aunt Auntie Flo's writing. And the date on the top is 1935. So I'm assuming that 1935 was when Great Auntie Flo came out from England. And on the back of the little card, it says from Florence Mary Gilbert. And this is the, I'll put that there so you can just see it. It's, it's been tooled and scraped out. A handcrafted writing compendium from the effects of Laura May Wright. Bernie Gilbert, believed to have belonged to her father's sister, Florence Mary Gilbert, and given as a gift by her, perhaps on a visit to Australia from England. Uh, and then I've put in maybe not, but I think the words, etc., are pointing that way. The enclosed little card is in uh, the older, older Auntie Florence's writing. I don't, do not recall Gran ever talking of this item and saw it only after my mother's death. So she must have kept it safe. But I think it's a lovely compendium. Now, that's all, unless you want to... Is there any way you can put this on hold or is it not a, not possible? Well... Because um, I can just dash in and get those little two little cups and saucers if you like. I, it's really up to you. Okay, <laughs> Well, our, our audience member can amuse themselves for a few, I guess, just a few moments. Of course, the noise suppression on my mic to deal with your mic isn't going to work if you're not here talking to yours. Okay, but I'm you're here back. again now. Hooray! Hooray! Are you able to see what's here? Yes, here are two... Um, this Tiny is a triplet, thing. so that's um, cup, saucer and plate. And the set cost, on the back, six and nine pence. But here's the plate and it says cool and gatter. And here's the saucer. It says cool and gatter. And here's the little cup that doesn't say cool and gatter. But there you go. But you know, for a probably six or eight, seven or eight year old to have the, you know, I'm so glad somebody spent six shillings on me. And this little cup and saucer, again, this would have been at a different visit. And it's Royal Loric Ware, made in Japan. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm. So it's just, just a little cup and saucer. I don't, I mean, you could have it for a, a, a mini piccolo if you had really, really strong coffee. But apart from that, I think they're just decorative. Anyway, that's all for this round. Next round, we'll look, be looking at some documents 
and trying to pull a few problems apart. But I need to do some reading and some note taking and some thinking and possibly talk to, um, to as well Michelle and Freya to work out how to do it. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.